Hi everyone, it's Zinnia here. Today I wanted to show you how to make games that have a start screen or a menu at the beginning. Let's get started. So for this example, let's say that I have this catch game that I've made and I want to add a start screen at the beginning of it. So let's add a backdrop that can be the start menu screen. You can hover over this button that says choose a backdrop and click choose and pick any backdrop that you want. I find the patterns category is pretty helpful. So for now, let's click this button and hide the bowl and cupcake sprites so that for now, I'll just design what the start menu looks like. So maybe we'll create two buttons, one that says play game and one that says instructions. So those are the two options I'll create for my player. Of course, you can make whatever ones you want. So to draw a button to be the play game button, I'll hover over choose a sprite and click paint. And I'll click on the rectangle tool and drag out a rectangle to be the button. I can drag it to where I want it to go on the screen. And if I click on the text tool, I can set the text color to black and type out the text that I want to be on the button. So I can have it say, play game. And you know, maybe I will click on this and set the color to a nice light blue. And I can also set the border color to a similar blue by using the eyedropper tool and taking the color of this and decreasing the brightness a bit. And I could even set the text to be the same color as the border by clicking on it and clicking its color and using the eyedropper tool to click and get that same blue color. Okay, so we've got a nice play game button. Let's duplicate this sprite by right clicking on it and clicking duplicate. And we can make this be the instructions button. And maybe I'll, just to make it look a little different, click on this rectangle and change the color just a little bit. Nice. I'll just name these sprites really quickly. Now, let's make it so that when you click on this button, the game starts. So let's go back to the code tab. Now, we know we want something to happen when this sprite is clicked. So we can drag out a when this sprite clicked block. Now, when this sprite is clicked, what do we want to happen? Well, we want these sprites to start doing their code. How can we make it so that they start doing their code not when the green flag is clicked, but after this button's been pressed. Here's how you can do that. We can make this button send out a message called a broadcast to all the sprites in the project when it gets clicked. We can call this message start the game. And now we can make other sprites do something particular when they get this start the game message. So we can go back to the bowl and the cupcake that each have their own code. And we can get rid of this when green flag clicked block and instead have the bowl do this when it receives start the game. So it won't start doing this when the green flag is clicked. It'll start it when this button is clicked. So I'll do the same thing for the cupcake. I'll remove the when green flag clicked blocks and replace them all with when I receive start the game blocks. And I took this example for my project, but if your project has lots of when green flag clicked blocks, you can just replace them with your start the game message. Okay, so when this sprite is clicked, it should start the game. Let's try it out. So I'll click the green flag and I'll click this button to start things. And nothing happens. And let's figure out why. So let's click on the bowl. Oh, the bowl is still hidden. So let's make it so that when the green flag is clicked, the bowl will hide, it'll disappear because in this screen, we want the bowl to be gone. But 
when it receives start the game, we can make it show. So let's do the same thing for the cupcake. When the green flag is clicked, we want the cupcake to be hidden. And when it receives start the game, it can show up. So let's try it out. I'll click play game. Okay, so that's an improvement. The, the cupcake and the bowl are now showing up once I click this button. But we would also like the background to change to that game background. So I'll click on the stage to add code for the background. And I'll make it so that when the green flag is clicked, we'll switch backdrop to light because that's the start screen background. And I'll say when I receive start the game, I'll have the backdrop switched to colorful city because that's the game background. Let's try that. Click to start the game. Okay, so now the background switches, but we would also like these buttons to disappear. So pretty similarly for the play button, I'll say when the green flag is clicked, we want this play button to show. So I'll make it show. And when it receives start the game, we can make it hide. So the button should disappear then. And I could actually give this same code to the instructions button by dragging it and just dropping it over that sprite. So I'll drag both of these pieces of code to the instructions button. And now let's try it out. So start the game and now I'll, I'll click this button to play. And there we go. That is really good. Now, one thing you may notice is we haven't added anything for the instructions button yet. So let's make it so that when you click the instructions button, you can see the instructions for the game. So the way I'll do that is I'm going to paint a new sprite and this sprite will have the instructions in it. So I can just click on the rectangle tool and draw out a decently big rectangle. Maybe I'll make it another different color, a lighter blue. And I can click on the text tool and set the text color to a dark blue by using the eyedropper and getting the same color as the border. And I can type out the instructions to the game. So I'll say, nice. So this instructions sprite, we want it to appear when the instructions button is clicked. And here's how you can do that. Let's click on the instructions button sprite and click on the code tab and let's make it broadcast a new broadcast called show instructions when this sprite is clicked and for this instructions sprite we can say when i receive show instructions we'll make this sprite show so let's try that out we can click on the instructions button and there we go, now the instructions appear. And let's make it so that when the green flag is clicked, this instructions panel hides because in the beginning, we don't want it to be showing. So that's working pretty good. We can play the game with this button. And if we go back to the start menu by clicking the green flag, we can make the instructions show up. One last thing we need to do, right now there's no way to close the instructions once you've opened them. How about we make it so that when you click on the instructions, they will hide. So we can say, when this sprite clicked, hide. And let's try that out. Okay, nice. Now you can click this button to show the instructions and just click on them to hide them. And, you know, something we could do is go to the costumes tab and say, click on the instructions to close them. So now, the people know how to close the instructions. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you have fun adding a start menu to any and all of your games. Uh, yeah, the code for this project will be in the description below, so you can always remix that. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. And scratch on!